Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at both the Eastern Pacific and the Atlantic Basins because over in the Eastern Pacific, it's likely that we will have development of two new tropical cyclones and then for the Atlantic Basin over in the Caribbean, we might see something try to get up from there. And so uh, before I go into details, All right, and so first things first, we are taking a look at this graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. And we're seeing that for the Pacific, we have two disturbances. One is highlighted in red and the other in yellow. And so the red means that the chance is pretty high for development. And so as of right now, the chance is at 90%. So there is a 90% chance that we could see development of this during the next five days. And there is a 40% chance during the next 48 hours. And so so it is likely that maybe by the midweek we will have this becoming a tropical storm likely parallel in the uh, Pacific coast of Mexico and so we have to wait and see what's going to be happening with this and maybe the other bands might bring some showers on shore but nothing major expected and so if this becomes our next tropical cyclone in the Pacific basin it will occur the name blast because that is the next name to be used on the list whereas the next disturbance it is given a 20% chance to develop and we're seeing that we're not seeing an X so the X usually marks that low pressure area but that area has not yet formed however it it is expected to develop within that region and so uh, if we have development of two systems the next two names would be Blast and Celia so we have to wait and see what's going to be happening but it's not likely that these will be posing much of threats to land however let's go ahead over in the Atlantic Basin. and so we're taking a look at infrared satellite and we're seeing that we have some activity taking place so we have a, a few tropical waves uh, moving across the region and a lot of convection over in portions of of the South Caribbean. So let's take a look at this surface chart here. So those lines, they really mark the axis of those tropical waves. So we have one that is further out closer to the coast of Africa and then we have another one that is propagating towards the Lesser Antilles and then as we take a look a little bit more to the west we see that we have two in the Caribbean basin one is making its way over in the eastern Pacific and then over where we have that L right there that is where we have that low pressure area that disturbance with a high chance to develop into a tropical cyclone but that's not going to be the main trait of this video let's go ahead and take a look at what models are expecting and so uh, we're going to be starting off with the GFS model and so this is by Wednesday of this week the 15th of the month and by that time GFS is expecting a low pressure system this is potentially even a tropical storm uh, in the South Caribbean right there developing from all that moisture and then as we head to Thursday on the 16th we see that this thing here is intensifying rapidly with a pressure of 984 millibars that's probably high end tropical storm or hurricane intensity right there and then we see that the pressure decreases which means that it is getting stronger as we head to the end of this week on Saturday the 18th of June and so GFS shows this thing crossing over the Yucatan into the Bay of Campeche which means that it'll, it'll weaken a bit but in the Bay of Campeche it's likely to intensify just before it moves into Mexico so notes guys this is just a scenario here this is a forecast which means that what you're seeing does not have to be the actual outcome. So we have to wait and see what's going to be happening for that. Let's see if other models are agreeing with this. So let's take a look at the ICON model. And so this is by Wednesday of this week on the 15th of June. And so ICON is definitely showing development over in the Eastern Pacific. But as for the South Caribbean, we're seeing something maybe trying to develop right there, but it is not showing anything as significant as what the GFS model is expecting. And so by uh, Friday of this week on the 17th of June we see that we just have some lingering moisture around however over in the eastern Pacific it is showing that small compact tropical cyclone developing and so as for the euro model now we are seeing that nothing major is expected and so this is for Sunday the 19th of June so next Sunday we're seeing a 10-11 low pressure system right there over portions of uh 
uh, Central America, we are seeing some moisture within that region, but the model does not show anything major developing from this. So maybe something trying to form, but we also have to take into consideration the current conditions that are out there, whether things are favorable for these systems to, to become something interesting or not, because we have some dry air that is making its way across the Caribbean, and that dry air, it really helps to suppress development of tropical cyclones and uh, thunderstorm activity on a whole, and then we also have to take into consideration the wind shear and as i speak let's go ahead and look at that wind shear map and so we're seeing that at the moment we're seeing all these red lines across the caribbean you can make out the caribbean from those white lines right there you want to follow the trace of them and you can actually make out the area so i know that this map might be a little bit confusing but where you have the red the red lines, that simply indicates that we have strong shear, which makes conditions mainly unfavorable for tropical development to take place. And so this is something that changes though. So we want to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be. But as for the dry air, we do have some Saharan dust making its way across the area and that helps to suppress activity, as I said earlier. So we have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be. And so on the National Hurricane Center's five-day graphical tropical weather, I was look for the Atlantic, we are seeing that no new tropical cyclones are expected during the next five days. So that doesn't mean that we can't have any disturbances pop up within those five days. But as of now, it is not likely that we will see actual development within the next five days. So what the GFS and other models were showing is not uncommon for the month of June, but we typically don't have a lot of development in the month of June. And so let's go ahead and look at this map here. So this right here is showing the breeding grounds for tropical systems or the typical tracks of them and we see that sometimes they come from the Caribbean and make their way up to the Gulf Coast or they might make their way over portions of Central America or they might develop within the vicinity of the Bahamas and move along the southeastern coast of the US and so guys Let's wait and see what's going to be happening. But again, we have to take into consideration the fact that the shear is not so favorable right now, although it will, it'll likely change. And we also have some dry air that is making its way across the area. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at the ENSO. So right now, we have the current value of it being minus 0.527 degrees Celsius below normal. So we are definitely in a La Nina, but this thing here was on the rise. The temperature was on the rise for a little while and once we are beneath one, uh, minus 0.5 that means we are in a la nina but these values here they're going to be fluctuating as time goes by but for the most part once it is below minus 0.5 we are in a la nina but above that we're heading to neutral conditions and above plus 0.5 that is when we are entering an el nino and it's not likely that we will see an el nino this year so uh we're likely to remain in la nina or maybe neutral conditions as we're going to be heading throughout the rest of the hurricane season and so guys that is really it for this update video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and so remember to always be weather wise and i will keep you updated as time goes by